I'm Jordan with Caster Headquarters, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to change your mop bucket casters with one easy step. Now, even if you just have one bad wheel on your mop bucket, I would highly recommend changing all four of them out so they match. Uh, sometimes the older wheels have a tread that's been worn down over the years, and when you replace it with a newer wheel, it could actually raise the overall height on one end, and then you're gonna have a wobbly mop bucket. So uh, you can replace one, but I would recommend replacing all four just to be consistent. Once you have your mop bucket ready, which we have here, um, and we've already dried it out, we're going to get a either flat head or I don't have a flat head in front of me, so I have a just a Phillips head. And we're gonna get to a point under the caster where it's really difficult just to, to pull. It's really hard to pull up on most of these mop buckets. So what I would do is I would get some kind of leverage, so whether it's a screwdriver, Phillips, or flat head, simply pry, and you could hear that, and it popped right out and now you have your mop bucket caster and you can do this for all four of them now we have our old uh, mop bucket casters and we're gonna swap these out with our new ones front of me I have our new mop bucket casters and these look more like the Rubbermaid brand that you'd buy online uh, this is our own caster HQ brand and it's very high quality it's gonna last you a very long time and it has the exact same stem as your previous one and it also has the thermoplastic rubber wheel as well so it's gonna be a really non marking quiet ride we're gonna go ahead and try to just insert this directly into the mop bucket socket and see if that goes in if it's a little difficult then we'll use a hammer That one's hard to get in. So you could use a hammer. Okay, that one's in. We're gonna go on to the next one. And of course, if you guys have access to a rubber mallet, you can use a rubber mallet, hammer, or you can just use your muscle. So, try to get the next one in. That one's not going in either. So, go ahead and hammer this one in. Now, if you don't want to risk damaging the casters, which you shouldn't, you can always put a towel on the top or a cloth. That way you have some kind of impact uh, shock absorber and then you can just hammer on top of that. Um, I'm just hammering directly onto the wheel and I'm holding this steady. Uh, again, these are thermoplastic rubber wheels and this is a very durable, strong caster. So it's not a, very, it's not a cheap off-brand uh, caster that, that would break very easily. So this should last you guys quite a while. Rotate. in and the last one Let's see if we can get this one in it's difficult too okay now all four wheels are installed what I'm gonna do is put this on the ground As you see it, the new wheels are on, all installed. Looks a lot sharper than the previous casters, and these are a little bit better quality as well. And so you're gonna be able to turn, maneuver, go straight. I mean, these are gonna be very easy to roll, probably a lot easier and smoother 
and even quieter than the previous casters that you had on your original mop bucket. As I mentioned, you can change your mop bucket with a Phillips head, a flat head, and simply a hammer or a rubber mallet. That's fairly simple. When you try to pull the casters out, sometimes it's very difficult and you will need something to get some leverage in there to pry those wheels up. Uh, and when you put the new ones in, our stem is going to be pretty tight because you don't want it to wobble. Um, and so you're gonna need a way to insert that rather than just pushing it in. It should take a little bit of force to insert the stem because that's the, really the only thing that's holding it is the diameter of the stem and it's such a tight tolerance. Now again, you don't have to use a hammer and hammer directly onto the tread of the wheel like I did. You can use a cloth or a towel or anything that can provide a little bit of cushion between the hammer and the wheel and you can hammer that in. You just need a little bit of force and a little bit of pressure to get those stems into the mop buckets. Hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you need to order these, I'm gonna post the link to our Amazon Prime listing and our website below. And if you don't wanna leave a comment below, and you want to contact us directly, shoot us an email at info at casterhq.com or give us a call 844-439-4335, which is also 844-HD-WILL. Thanks for watching.